Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to take you further into custom menus, and we're going to have some more options with the menu we created before, and we're going to create a menu and place it somewhere that we actually don't have an option to place it using widgets. So let's come into the back end of our site here, and we have our main nav that we created before. And now we have some options here, right? Some options that we didn't reveal in the last video. If you select one of these downward arrows on one of the items in your navigation, it gives you a whole lot of options, right? Besides giving you the path that it's already chosen for us, you can give it a title attribute or you can move it down further. Now, now you'll see if we click one of these, you can do the same for that. You can change the text. Uh, from about us to maybe about or something and still have it take you to the about us page Great, well, we have just those options here, but let's say you wanted to add a link that wasn't in your site Right you wanted to link off to another site Well, let's actually create a new menu for our footer and we can put things like that including our donations page in there So let's create a new menu here uh, We'll just click leave this page because we didn't actually change anything. And now we can select uh, the name footer menu here. I'll just type it out. And then we can click create menu. And we now have a second menu. On this, I want donations. And I'll click add to menu. Now if we click down here where it says links, I can actually link to some page. So let's say I wanted to link to leveluptuts.com. And I want to say level up tuts is the address right I can add to the menu now I have a site linking off page right here and that is for leveluptuts.com now you'll notice I don't want this in the secondary menu and I don't want this in the primary menu what can I do with this let's click save menu and we're gonna go back to widgets and we're gonna add it to the footer using a widget so uh, so we have our page here right we want it to be down here. So let's come to widgets under appearance and we're going to find the uh, menu widget. It's custom menu right here. And we're gonna, um, well, we could drag this into the footer area like we did before. Or if you don't feel like clicking and dragging, you can click it and then say, hey, I want you to show up in the footer area and then add widget. Now, it's asking us, uh, it's going to ask us right here which menu we want to use and if we want to have it a, a, give it a title, right? So we could actually give it our main navigation if you wanted to for some reason, but you can select any custom menu that you've made and it's going to show up here. Of course, we wanted the footer navigation. And if you want to give this a title, you can. Uh, we can just maybe call this like extra links or something. Of course, I wouldn't have a, a menu that had off page and on page links in the in the same menu, but that's besides the point here, just doing some examples. So if we click save, uh, now we come to our page and we refresh, we now have our extra links is showing up in this footer area. And likewise, we could have thrown this extra links menu into this content sidebar widget area or this primary sidebar widget area it doesn't matter it's still going to be using this footer menu that we created because we selected it in this drop down here so we are now able to add custom menus not only to the main or normal navigation spots but anywhere that you can add widgets so you now have complete control over the links you're adding to your site in the next video, we're going to start to get into plugins and all of the awesome expandable things you can do with plugins. Now, once we've gone over plugins, uh, we'll have set ourselves up to really reach the limit of the WordPress basics. And after that, we're going to be getting into some more intermediary and advanced stuff. And the intermediate stuff is going to be, you know, working with themes, creating your own themes, modifying themes, adding things like widget areas and, and all sorts of cool stuff. We're going to get into more and more of editing the files, but we're not going to do it in a way that's difficult to approach, right? We're going to do it in a way that makes sense. And even if you don't have any experience coding, you don't have to worry about it because I'm going to explain everything in basic terms, exactly how you do it. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, uh, 
you know, our website, we have a Level Up Tuts form that you can post in, and that's all awesome. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.